Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. <clears throat> I saw where the other day, uh, as part of the Occupy Wall Street movement, Professor Cornell West, who um, I admire a great deal, and other protesters convicted Goldman Sachs of apparently um, fleecing the public. Well, when are the Occupy Wall Street people going to connect the dots and realize that Goldman Sachs couldn't give itself the public treasury money that the politicians have given Goldman Sachs? In other words, should they be protesting Goldman Sachs or should they be protesting the politicians who gave Goldman Sachs taxpayer money? Isn't that what this is all about? <clears throat> In other words, if politicians reimburse Goldman Sachs a hundred percent, hundred cents on each dollar for Goldman Sachs's AIG exposure, why have a mock trial convicting Goldman Sachs of anything? They're just a group that got a government handout. Shouldn't we be criticizing the government that gave them the handout? Who owes us, the taxpayer, a fiduciary responsibility? Some private party like Goldman Sachs or our elected officials? And so I'm sorry, but I can't take seriously any movement that supports the current administration while criticizing the groups that the current administration gave handouts bailouts, wealth transfers, whatever term you want to use to, right? Nor can I take seriously any protest that's protesting the 1% while supporting the administration that has extended the Bush tax cuts for that 1%, right? It's not a protest when you support the status quo. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.